Hey, welcome back for another Trick Tip Tuesday. And uh, today's tip, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, the different styles of bends uh, and the different styles of machines that you bend on and how to determine which uh, bender is right for you. So uh, here on this rack here, I've got a couple of different styles of bends uh, to show you. So uh, here at the top, um, if you're looking for a really long sweeping curve, uh, something with a really, really large radius, uh, this bend right here was done on a roll bender. So typically in a roll bender, you have three different uh, bending dies and uh, they're placed kind of far apart. That way you can uh, you know, roll the material through and it just slowly puts that long arc uh, in a piece of tubing. So uh, from there, uh, right here, we have uh, this tube here that was bent on a ram style bender. So this is the kind of bend you would typically see if you uh, let's say you go to an exhaust shop and you're looking to get new exhaust made for your car. Um, typically they're using a ram style bender and it kind of crushes the tubing in uh, to create the bend, um, which makes the material pretty affordable. That's why you can typically go to like an exhaust shop and have a whole exhaust built for fairly cheap because um, you know, it's, it's quick, easy, gets the job done and the machines are uh, cheaper than what you would see on let's say a mandrel style bender. So this bend here, same exact size material, but where this one has the crush, which this is probably only maybe two and a quarter inches thick here, even though this is a three inch tube. But here it's three inches all the way through the radius of the bend. And how it does that is there's, on a mandrel bender, there's what they call the mandrel, which is inside of the tube. So when you slide the material through, you have a, a mandrel that's basically a rod that goes inside of the tube and then as it's bent, it, as it's bending the tube, it stays right over the mandrel as it's bending. And that's what keeps the tube from crushing at this point and uh, leaves you with a really nice product. So high, more high end exhausts, um, even on your, a lot of your newer street cars have more of a mandrel bent style exhaust uh, to keep uh, even tube size throughout the bend. So, uh, this bend here was done on a regular rotary draw style bender. Now a mandrel bender is technically a rotary draw style, but you have the mandrel inside. Whereas on a regular rotary draw, you have no mandrel inside. And uh, basically it's relying on the wall thickness of the material to maintain the tube size uh, throughout the bend. So uh, that's why you can't bend super tight radiuses on a uh, rotary draw style because it would end up uh, either crushing or uh, deforming the tube in a way that you wouldn't want uh, for your project on a rotary draw style. So this one was done on that. Uh, this is a very large uh, five inch tube done on a mandrel bender. It's real thin and the mandrel bender allows you to do real thin wall material without crushing it. Um, and this is real thin wall, five inch tube, mandrel bent, stays nice and round throughout the bend shape. Uh, here on the other side, we have a couple of other examples of mandrel bends here. This is an extremely tight mandrel bend, uh, which was, this is only capable uh, and possible on a mandrel bender to keep the tube size consistent throughout the bend radius. Um, this was done on a regular rotary jaw style. You have a nice sweeping bend. You typically see that for roll cages, uh, chassis, that sort of thing. Uh, square tube is also possible on a mandrel bender uh, to keep it the same size um, without with minimal tube distortion. Uh, this one all the way down here has a little crush on the inside and outside, which was done more on a rotary jaw style. So um, know what kind of material you're working with uh, and know what kind of bend you're looking for. And that will help you uh, determine what kind of bender you need. So if you need some help determining what style of bender you're looking for, for the material you're trying to do, give us a call and uh, we'll be able to help, help you out. We do have some information on our website that will help you uh, determine that as well. Um, but our staff is always here to answer your questions. So give us a call and uh, we'll see you next Tuesday for the next trick tip.